This is what I've been sleeping with, you guys. And during the day, I put it on top of my kitchen counter. So for those of you who don't know it, it's a humidifier. So I actually didn't know that the reason why in winter it feel, everything just feels so dry is because the humidity in the air drops a lot. So in my skin, like I would be sitting on the sofa and I'd be like, oh my god, why am I so dry? There was no amount of like lip moisturizer I could put on that would work. There's no like skin moisturizer that would be helping and I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. So I definitely knew it was my air. Plus I'm already really sensitive to that and I know it. So I got this one off of Amazon. I place so many orders on Amazon, you guys, and I have so many coming today. So this one by Lavoid. I've actually worked with them in the past and they sent me their other humidifier, but they keep coming out with like these smaller, smaller, cuter ones. So the last one I got was like really big. It sits on your counter. It does take up more water, but I just like how this one's like super aesthetic. Like look how clean she looks. They actually had like a coupon to get like $20 off or 20% off or something like that. And I was like, oh, perfect. So I sleep with her inside of here and then I move her into the kitchen. I'm actually thinking of getting two of them since they're not crazy expensive. I moved around my plants a little bit. I got rid of my palm plant because it had the most flies and I just was not about to like get into it. Plus I didn't get the right one to begin with when I was shopping for it. Um, but yeah, I had to give that one away. And I've kept this one over here. I feel like I have, I don't know, I feel like in the summer I'm going to have to do like a little bit of a cleanup with my plants because I feel like it's too much. I have to show you guys this one look at her she has a brand new leaf this was literally like two or three days ago so kind of like a little tip if you guys have plants put them in the winter put them by the light even if they're not a plant that likes um, a lot of light but the thing is they're not getting as much sun in the winter so it's not it's not really there like it is in summertime but she like she honestly flourishes when I put her by the Sun and the window where it has the most light but look at her and she has a brand new one coming in so there's two of them and i had to get fiona fixed because i was telling you guys that her pot was like literally cracking and the girl's like oh my god it is cracking all over i'm like i know that's why i came to you because it's like really insane um but they actually told me that the pot that i had her in like the amount of roots that she has in the size she shouldn't have been in a pot this big um, so we actually have instead of a plastic black um thing which you can't see because by the time the shadow is in there you can barely even tell plus she's up high so you don't notice it as much but that's also another like a trick that you guys can use she's really really tight on the stand she's not even like really properly fitting to be honest i kind of push her down like i don't care i'm pushing you down i want to keep the stand so she is a lot better now. Now she can grow and apparently her soil was like really bad too. Hello babes. So it is Sunday morning and I just literally got up like a few minutes ago. Um, I'm loving my closets by the way. If you guys have not watched that, make sure you guys do. I did like an entire transformation of my bedroom closet plus my den closet. Like, oh, you're so beautiful. I just love it. Now I know where to go for all my sweaters and all my jackets. And this one is my favorite, you guys. All of my handbags. I love it. Make sure you guys check out that video if you guys want some like closet inspo or if you guys are kind of doing up your closet. I Today is Sunday and I'm expecting so many Amazon packages. I think this is the most I've like expected from Amazon in one day. So I'm actually doing like a little kind of living room makeover plus... I'm also doing, um, what else did I order? I ordered a new light mirror, like a vanity light mirror for me to do my makeup. I'm going to be doing a new get ready with me with you guys and like obviously a QA and a and stuff. So that's definitely coming. And I got rid of, well I didn't get rid of, I returned it, that black mirror just because... I felt like it wasn't um, flexible enough, like the settings were pretty basic, but I need something like that I can take seriously like when I'm filming those kind of videos for you guys. And I'm going to be showing you guys a makeup look that I did that I freaking loved so much. It's very different from what I would normally pick up. I introduced blush, I introduced a lot of the products I showed in my last vlog. If you guys missed that, it was like a drugstore kind of haul. I got a bunch of like drugstore makeup. I got one thing from Sephora, um, some things from Winners and Home Sense, like some home decor. So yeah, I'm doing a little living room kind of makeover. My my rug, I'm kind of over it. Like I really am. I've always felt like that rug was a little bit too small, but I'll be honest, I bought it because it was so freaking cheap. And I just wanted kind of the place done really fast. You know what I mean? Like I just wanted it to be like, eh, it's okay for now. And then I'll get something really good when I can. 
even this I don't even know if it's gonna work but I'm getting it because I'm just trying it out so right now my rug is really light but oh my god anytime I wear black any little black fluff that falls on it like and I'm not vacuuming every day like I, I don't have time for that it's showing all the time and I'm like oh my god like I just I can't take it anymore this one that I got from Amazon I'm super excited because it kind of matches the color of my floor Whereas this one is super light so it kind of jumps out at you and it kind of does look a little bit too small because of the color I feel like I want to tie up my hair. Oh my god. I hate when my hair is down so much. It's really really affordable I think I paid $75 for it and it's like a 5x8. So it's like really crazy I'm gonna try out the cheaper rugs right now just because I I know myself I get super bored So I don't like to buy anything really expensive it's just like my wardrobe. It allows me to like change my decor. That's just me. I love changing my wardrobe and I love changing my decor. It's a beautiful color, but I hope it comes as the color that it's shown on the actual listing or else I will freak the hell out. Forget it. They're dirty and I'm not cleaning them right now. And then I got, I ordered a BCAA powder, which I'm super excited about too. Um, so that's going to help your muscle recovery during your workout and after your workout you can take it. So I'll show you guys. I got a watermelon flavored one because I've been using the 310 packets but I just ran out. And that's not a BCAA but it just flavored my water and it gave me some electrolytes while I was um, like working out and stuff like that. And it really kind of helped me. But they got rid of that flavor and I'm just like, okay. But I feel like it's kind of meant to be because it made me get BCAAs instead. And my friend kind of recommended it to me some light bulbs coming because I got a new island light from Ikea I feel like I want to do an Ikea haul everything that I have from Ikea because I get a lot of questions where my mirror is from that's from Ikea I get a lot of questions on my decor and just things in general like a lot of the stuff in my kitchens from Ikea a lot of things in my bedroom I feel like I have enough to do another Amazon haul to be honest with you um so yeah i really wanted to get some cool light bulbs i got the ones i believe they should be around 5000k so which means that the light is going to be kind of like daylight and in winter you get so many cloudy days so when i try to film it is so freaking frustrating because my island where i like to film or even when i'm doing my hauls the light doesn't extend to the back right so it's so like dark the camera struggles because there's no lighting i have my artificial lighting but it's not it's like literally my very last resort because i don't enjoy working with equipment it's just not me okay i had to tie up my hair just couldn't do it um but i think that that's all that i have coming from amazon just those four things i think if there's something else it wouldn't surprise me i still have some other stuff i want to order from there um but i haven't really like decided and i don't want to buy things and then like return them another thing i want to talk to you guys about so i'm currently going through my pmdd but yesterday was a really great day to be honest with you compared to the ones previous to that and today is going pretty good because i picked up this camera without even like questioning it so that means i'm in a really good mood um but i took a poll on ig if you guys are not following me make sure you guys do at stuff um if you guys want me to do a pmdd video and i have been wanting to do it for a very long time if you guys don't know what pmdd is i'm not going to go into like a whole explanation but right now um but i think i got like 90 percent of you said to do a video on it or like in the high 80s or something I mean, it's something I want to anyways, just because I feel like if I can help even just one woman through this, I like just to even if it's just even if like all I do throughout the entire video is just say you're not alone. I think that that helps sometimes like a lot. We don't even realize it to do is probably do it when I don't have it. And my cycle is coming up and these are normally like the days, you know, right before my period are normally my worst. And but for some reason and i don't know because it hasn't come yet so there's still a few days but today i feel really great i feel normal and every month is kind of different and basically in a nutshell pmdd is pms symptoms times you will hear people say crazy numbers like a thousand two thousand three thousand and but it is night and day like when you have pmdd it's not just PMS I'm being honest I've watched so many videos I've heard so many doctors talk about it I knew something was very wrong very off when I started to get it and that was like this many symptoms and now I have this many symptoms so I don't need anybody to diagnose me I really don't and I know it's connected to my period because that's when it happens 
every single month i've tracked it i've already gone through the diagnosis um and literally the doctors that i've watched like they go through the book and they're like this is how doctors diagnose people with this like they literally do that that's what they follow that's what a doctor follows to diagnose you and I'm like i don't even like i couldn't believe it you guys i had five i'm putting up four. i had five things out of the one category that they said oh you need to have like between one and three of these or something i'm like i have all five of those like it's it's pretty crazy i'm here to talk about helping women who experience these feelings i'm just here to help someone that has this that's all it is because let me tell you something it's not easy to do anything when you have this thing so that's what pmdd is in a nutshell it's pms times infinity and beyond <laughs> it's crazy and it's so funny because i don't really have that many pms symptoms like in the past i haven't had many um i used to take the pill like years ago and i would get more pms symptoms on that um i would get very irritable which was the reason why i got off of it besides the fact that i personally for me just don't like the pill i don't like to take pills in general or things that kind of like alter my system and my body i just don't like it i feel like it's something that i need to talk about but probably not while i'm going through it because it's already a very touchy sensitive emotional topic to talk about but yeah right now it is i actually like these sunday vlogs i never film on a sunday you guys because it's my chill day it's the day where i just like want to be completely like lazy which i am gonna do today but once my packages come in i'm gonna show you guys um and i'm so excited for that lamp lamp no the mirror oh my god why do i keep like messing up the name of that thing it's like a a lamp maybe it's because i'm getting light bulbs and the mirror has lighting in it i don't know but anyways it's 10 31 right now so i'm gonna make breakfast i'm gonna have my avocado and i'm gonna have my cool thing new what i eat in a day is up on my channel if you guys missed it so don't forget to check that one out it has a lot of good recipes it has the chorizo soup which we call calvert in um portuguese and it's just basically a sausage soup with um like the like a potato puree i guess you could call it and collard greens it's just a really comforting super tasty soup to get your greens in um, but I made it like vegan, so if you guys are vegan, don't worry, you guys can go eat it. Um, but if you're not, just add in like real sausage. And there, I created my freshie bowl, which I'm so excited about because I freaking love that freshie bowl, but I feel like it's a bit overpriced. But I recreated it so that you guys can make a cheaper version at home when you guys don't want to go out and buy it. But yeah, make sure you guys go check out that video because there's a whole bunch of new recipes. And we'll be back once my packages arrive. Hopefully they don't arrive too late so that it's like super dark for me to show you. But so I just grabbed some water and I fill her up. And she has like a max line where you can't go past. So super easy. And all you have to do is just kind of clean the base like every couple days it says. Then you just put this, turn it on at the bottom. I'll leave a link for this so you guys can... And I put it on the double setting for this space because it's a lot larger. And if you guys hit this little moon, it'll go off. By the way, this is not sponsored. So see, it'll go off. The lights will go off. Also in that what ain't in a day, there's also, because I just opened up my fridge and I was like, oh, let me tell them. Um, my halloumi salad, the one that I keep showing on my IG, where it has like that white stuff on top. And people are like, is that chicken? Is that cheese? What is that? So that's a halloumi salad. It is with cheese and it's like a Middle Eastern salad. Let me show you guys what I'm eating. So my beautiful avocado on the side over here with some salt and black pepper. That's the only thing I like on top of it, but no lemon guys. I know that you guys are suggesting lemon, but no, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. I like when it's a little bit salted. Um, I have a half of an English muffin with some butter. It's vegan butter. And then I have two slices vegan butter and then i have two slices of bacon and what i like to do is the reason why i have like bacon throughout my entire week is because i want to like use up that package or else it goes bad and then i have two eggs but just the egg whites and not the yolks um just keeps everything low calorie since i'm having two slices of bacon and i season this with um, the montreal chicken spice because it's so good put chicken spice on your eggs you guys it is so 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 good and then my collagen coffee i put my collagen powder in here like look at that little cutie that's coming out i feel so bad because one of them came out like a little tiny leaf 
and I always touch them and I always kind of like pet them and I'm like, oh, you're so cute. And then it literally went and I was like, so I'm not going to touch him. This, well, I like I've already touched him, but I'm going to be super careful. Yeah, this is my favorite baby. This is the Ficus Audrey, my absolute favorite. She is probably the most like high maintenance, like kind of. She doesn't like to be in like really, really bright light. And she is originally from India. Like it's the um, plant of India, apparently, like the symbol or something. And it says that it's found underneath like canopies in the shade. So I like to keep her away from light. And to be honest with you, that's where she blooms. Like she has two new buds. So I think I'm going to go wash my hair right now, which is like my number one thing. I hate so, so, so much, but it is so greasy. You guys, it's not even funny. Are you guys looking at my booty in the mirror? Stop looking at my booty in the mirror. Sometimes I like to like put my head in the bath and then I'll wash my hair. I think that's what I'm going to do right now because yeah. You see like these little black dots? This is all for my clothes and I like to wear like black around the house I guess a lot. Like my leggings but I've been wearing like those teddy kind of sweaters. So all these little black things on my carpet just like really drive me nuts and they make it look really dirty. But it's like an everyday thing. So I'm not going to be vacuuming every single day. And to be honest I want to look for a new vacuum and I might just have to spend a lot on it. If it really really works I don't mind. Plus, I don't want to get in the way of like my mirror where I take my photos because if the white comes out to here, it's just like, it doesn't look good when I'm taking my photos. See how it's just a little bit right there? Plus, I wanted to make sure that this area kind of looked like kind of separate. Um, but I think I'm going to do a vlog with a full transformation of like kind of a mini um, living room makeover. But I just wanted to show you guys why I'm changing my carpet. Wow, you guys, I almost broke my back doing that. <laughs> I was literally in the bathtub. I'm like, wow, I wish I brought my camera because I was like, wow, when people think you have your life together and they see this clip right now, like, I swear to you, my back is killing right now. But the one good thing is I felt like I could really get in there and in my scalp and I was really scrubbing it with this um, dandruff shampoo that I have. Now ask me what I hate more than washing my hair. Styling it! Which is a lot easier with the shampoo that I'm using right now, which is the Kristen S. And I think I am going to tan today. I've been taking like a little bit of a break from tan or self tanner. And I've tried the new Bondi Sands. Not the new, but it's new to me. Um, and I really, really like it. Haven't received any of my packages yet. And it's like almost two and I haven't received it. So I keep hearing a cracking noise. And I thought that it was Fiona's vase. But Fiona's vase is gone. So this whole entire time, it wasn't her. The new like thing I have on my counter. I don't know. It's probably not a good thing. You guys, I literally just filmed and I did not click record. And the camera was like, mm, you're canceled and it shut off. And I was like, why did it shut off? I didn't click record. My hair when it's combed and brushed out and my hair when it's not. But anyways, I think I'm gonna do like a, I was telling you guys, but you guys weren't really here with me, um, that I'm gonna do a blowout, but not so much like voluptuous what it looks like so see how it has like a little bit of a flip but yeah just finished my hair that actually didn't take too too long but i'm just so glad that it's over sometimes on sundays i like to order skip the dishes which is just a delivery company if you guys don't know it's kind of like uber eats order some food and i like to have like a later um lunch or more late lunch because i know that these foods are higher in calorie and i don't want to go too over my calories or just kind of stay within them oh my god you guys i just got the carpet and it is so not what the picture is i opened it up and at first i saw this at the top i was like okay absolutely not it was supposed to be like a really dark taupey kind of like my floor color that was the whole point and it's like mixed with like gray and cream i am going to have to package it up so i ordered chicken shawarma Ooh, oh she cute <laughs> she really cute so I usually take out this potato. It gives you like one big potato, but there's also rice underneath here. It looks like a lot of food, but honestly, it's mainly chicken. The rice is underneath, but there's actually not that, that, that much rice because this potato takes up so much room. And all this is like veggies except for the cheese on top. Just get the chicken shawarma plate, and then I get to put my own sauces. This is the salad dressing, but I got these bulbs. Um, I bought a clear island light from ikea and these guys are um 
daylight so they're more on the cool side i got these guys and the reason why i got like the globe kind was so that it looks cute inside of my island light my lighting mirror i never know what the hell to call these things so i got this one i'm super excited i'm gonna open it with you guys right now and i got white watch this though so this is the base and oh my god yo like <sighs> me annoyed 24 7 me paranoid 24 7 um yeah so this is the base and it comes with like this little tray see here at the bottom so, so there's two ways to use this guy you can use usb or you can um use batteries i think prices are very cheap like i don't think we're we like spending a lot of money it really stresses us out stresses me out what was i saying no idea you probably wouldn't care anyways just joking so this is what it looks like Oh, it opens up this one is a 10x so super close 5x and this one i believe is a 3 is it let me see i think it's a 3x but whatever well that was easy i'm dying because i'm like i don't know if i have any of those i have like 50 like i have like a massive pack obviously because it's me you guys look at her she's so cute isn't she wonderful? The camera does not want to show you guys what it actually looks like. Ooh, but it's pretty cool. What I liked about this one, honestly, is like when I'm doing my makeup look with you guys, I can, and I'm doing my eyebrow, I can literally look at this mirror over here and see my eyebrow super up and close. But I think it's going to look really good, especially with this new lighting over here. Oh, this lighting is making me glow. So I got this one, Extend BCAAs. Promotes muscle cell repair. This also is really good for your electrolytes too. Very little were naturally sweetened with like stevia, but there are some available if you guys are picky about that. I honestly wanted to go for those ones, but I noticed that the price really jumped up just because it was naturally sweetened. This is what it looks like. It came sealed again with this, which is a great. It should always come like that, you guys and our little scoop so per one scoop i believe this is zero calories most of them are it has zero calories you guys because i saw it online so i'm gonna have it while i'm at the gym um but you can also have it when you don't go to the gym so it's not just for when you go my water was already kind of like peachy because i had the peach um packet that i have from 310 already in here shake it up oh it's so pink if it's too sweet obviously just add more water Okay, it's perfectly sweetened if I fill it all the way up. So, man, that would have been really sweet. Um, and this actually tastes more like real watermelon, if that makes sense. The 310 ones tasted like watermelon juice. And I think because I'm used to that one, it's like I almost want this one to taste the exact same. Um, it's really, really nice. It's just different from my 310 one. But it tastes like you literally grabbed watermelon put it in a powder and you have it in a drink so again you can drink it when you're off from the gym you can drink it during the gym i'm gonna be doing it like both ways but i think i'm gonna stick to like one scoop a day so i will leave a link to that down below and i'll leave a link to everything else that i showed you guys today down below in the description box so that you can try it out um, I definitely recommend it. They have different flavors. They have so many other companies you guys can try. More of what I need. The other ones are more if you don't drink your water and you just want it flavored. Whereas this one actually has like a lot more of a purpose I find. I think I'm going to end the vlog here you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed. It's funny because I got a lot done with you guys. Yeah, I mean if you guys want to see more of like these casual videos. Let me know your thoughts. I can't wait to do like the whole transformation of my living room. But now there's some things we have to still look for Make sure you guys catch up with my latest videos and check out my boohoo haul on my channel and my other wedding days if don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel welcome hopefully you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you guys get notified for all of my brand new videos thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video